To participate in the America's Cup, you're asked to do things that are unthinkable. You're asked to make things that are impossible. The America's Cup is probably the most difficult things that we do. It's always been critically important for Harkin to be able to be at the front of developing and working with the leaders in the industry to come up with something better. And we've relied on them to deliver us with solutions unique to the problems that we have on each of the America's Cup class yachts. We're racing AC75 foiling monohulls for the first time. So for all the yacht systems, there's no, there's no possibility to just draw from previous experiences or an existing class of boat. Everything is for the first time. It's a massive technical challenge for all the departments. Leaders like Grant Simmer, Ben Ainsley, these are folks that we've worked with since 12 meter days, since Finn Olympic, Laser Olympic, and that experience translates to trust both sides. It's really good for us to just continue working with the people and the engineers at Harkin that we know and trust. So it's pretty much everything from the handles that you'll see the, the grinders turning to the, the end output that will be ultimately trimming the sails and controlling the, the mast and any other manually controlled surface. I've been using Harkin equipment for over 25 years and the attention to detail and development of the components will really have a huge impact. It's a very compressed timeline, this America's Cup cycle, so we need a partner that can uh, design and produce things to our specifications very quickly. You do not want to fail in the America's Cup. We work 24 hours, so the boat, when it splashes the next morning, it's okay. No matter what happens, they're going to fight. They're going to work through any possible challenge, and we're going to be alongside with them.